All right, Dr. Sutton here with us again. And for Dr. Ash, we got a question here for you having to do with COVID tests, the at-home tests. Never thought about this. Do at-home COVID-19 tests expire? Uh, the short answer to this question is yes, but the date listed on the box might not be accurate. And there are a couple of reasons why. Okay. So in order to uh, confirm what the expiration date is for these tests, the FDA often requires real-time analysis, yeah. which means that if you create the test and you say that six months it will expire, you need to wait the six months. And so as you can imagine, these tests are still fairly new. And so as time goes on, that data comes in and those expiration dates get updated. So if you're looking at your home test and you see that there's an expiration date on it, you should double check before you throw it out. You can call the manufacturer and they can tell you what the extended date is. Huh. It's happening for a couple of different home tests and so I don't think people realize that. Now generally speaking, what I haven't even looked at the, what would they say? I mean, is yeah. it six months? Is it a year? Is it two? What do they say on them generally? Oftentimes you'll see six months, but recently some of them have been extended to 12 months, 15 okay. months, and I will say that even if it's at the expiration date, the one thing that you have to check for when you're taking a home test is that control line. Mm -hmm. We all know that the double line means that it's positive. You have to make sure that that control line line is there to show that the test is still functioning. That's so funny you say that. You said yeah. we all know. We do. We all know. Yes. That line is good. <laughs> that second one going to pop up? <laughs> We've been doing that for years now. All right. You have our prescription for wellness as well today, Dr. Sutton. What do you got? Uh, really simple. Uh, reading. Uh, it's something that I've been trying to get more into as I'm trying to actively slow down. And reading has been shown to provide so many benefits. And so I added some on here to help everyone understand. It can help in our sleep readiness. It can reduce our stress. There are even some studies that show that it reduces blood pressure and heart rate, and it can even reduce the risk of cognitive decline as we age. And so there are some tips that we should do when we're trying to read more. Number one, have your book on you at all times. So for example, when you're traveling, going on planes, grab that book instead of picking up that phone and picking your genre. Uh, I like to assimilate that to knowing what kinds of movies you like and then associating that to the types of books that you like. Right. One of the best questions that I recently found, and it wasn't mine, I can't take credit for it, but asking like librarians, which book would you love to read all over again from the beginning? Hmm. I think that's a great question because it can help you get into books. And also, if you don't like the book, you can put it down and pick up a new one. Yeah. Many people don't realize that. We try to struggle through different books just to make it. Making small goals, 10 to 20 pages a day, you can get yourself up to uh, what you used to do. On this prescription, does it matter what you read? I, I read so many news, I didn't read so much news yeah. that I actually don't pick up a book that often. That might increase your blood pressure. Wow. So <laughs> I would say avoiding, trying to separate yourself from wow. the reality. That that's like me reading a medical textbook. Okay. So uh, I would try to avoid it really, probably really read things that are completely different from what we do every day. That's a really good point. All right, I'm going to start reading medical textbooks, I guess. All right. <laughs> and I'll start Thank reading you. the newspaper. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.